welcome so in this video I will be making a custom glitter wine bottle these are just a few of the materials that I'll be using I mean you'll see later on I changed my mind about that gold sticker decal but if you want to go ahead and use it do your thing I got our Michaels in the scrapbooking section this is the printer I use to make the label the custom label that you see there I blocked the gentleman's face because um, I just didn't want to ask for permission and wait three hours for a response. And the video is really not about him. It's about this beautiful bottle right here. Okay? <laughs> so I'm going to start off by laying out my glitters, putting them next together, see if they look good. And this is a bottle that I've done in the past. It's chunky black glitter and small gold glitter and like look at, I just like the combo of different size glitters and colors. So we're going to mix our glitters now. And I start off by adding small amounts and I know like I only want a hint of gold and I want this royal blue here to be the main body. And I also want a hint of that third glitter right here because it's like shaped like shards and the tail is just so beautiful like look look at it just in the bottle wow so I just keep adding till it looks nice and I add this chunky black glitter it kind of darkened up the overall color which is fine it looks nice to me and I just keep adding till the ratio is right and I have enough to make the project. Um, I can kind of eyeball how much glitter I need at this point, but you can always make more and save the rest in this container. Or you can just make some more as you go. So I'm going to clean the wine bottle here using a napkin and 91% rubbing alcohol. It will dry really fast and get rid of any grease, dirt, anything that will prevent our product from sticking. So this step is optional. You don't need a custom label. You can cover the label or you could just have the existing label show already. But since this was a big birthday I want to do a custom label so right here I'm just eyeballing where I wanted it to go although before I printed it out I did um, measure three by four with it with how much space it would take up on the bottom I'm using 3m mountain tape it's used to mount things to the wall and let me tell you, it is strong, okay? Strong. I wanted to use this. You can use glue, but I'm going to Mod Podge and seal the label later on with um, Mod Podge. <laughs> and I just didn't know if I added too much with the ink start running if I added in the front and back. So this was a good alternative for me at least I think it's a good idea and once I put this on it did not move I was not worried about it going nowhere and if you are you can add you know e6000 to it so right here I'm gonna bend it to help me put it on and I'm gonna start with one side Smooth it out halfway, and once I got that, smooth out the rest. We have no wrinkles. Nice. This came out really nice and really smooth. So in the cup, I am using Mod Podge in the high gloss finish to adhere our glitter. And I'm doing thin coats, and I'm going to work in sections. So that I have control over where my glitter goes. Because wherever there is glue, glitter will stick in Mod Podge. Especially in thin layers, will dry pretty fast. 
which is another reason why I work in sections, because if I did the whole bottle and went in with glitter, by the time I got to the other half, the glue would have been like dry, wasn't it wouldn't stick as well and yeah, then you'd have to add more glue and then there'd be some unevenness. So just take your time, work in sections, you know, your patience will will work in your favor. And honestly this whole entire thing probably took me an hour. It does not take long at all. Actually a little more than an hour because I had to wait for it to dry. So I'm just gonna continue section by section. And then when I start a new section, I overlap the last section making sure that there will be no gaps because if there's no glue, the glitter won't stick. So yeah, I'm here putting in glue, then I smooth it out to make it even once I got this section covered. And I'm just pouring my glitter over this tray because whatever falls out, I'm gonna reuse. Oh my gosh, that glitter is so pretty. I love this combo. I got all my glitters from Michaels, by the way. And that sticker decal that I didn't end up using on the right hand side right there, Michaels as well. I opted not to use it because I felt like the if I added anything more, the bottle would look busy. Um, and I would have to peel out peel off each letter in the happy birthday decal. And um, I, I kind of just wanted to stop and clean up. <laughs> but yeah, shake off the rest. Oh my gosh, that bottle is so pretty. This was a nice color. So I use a fan brush to make sure there's no glitter and maybe my fingers were accidentally sticky and there was a little glue. I wanna get rid of that before it sticks. So here we're applying the second coat of Mod Podge and glitter. And we're just gonna go around the entire bottle in sections again. Same strategy, thin, even coats. Keep in mind Mod Podge does dry clear. So it, it looks crazy now, but it, it'll come together. <laughs> Trust the process. And also, if you're looking at the wine bottle, thinking about what kind of wine you should get if you want to do this as a gift. This is a perfect birthday gift. Any celebration, wedding, anything that will be pictures, like graduations. Some people just like to keep it in their house or whatever, you know. Um, I don't know anything about wine. I'm not a wine, wine drinker myself. I just know this person like Pinot Noir and I went to Total Wine. They have a recommendation section, and I found a Pinot Noir. Picked it up. Hope it's good. Okay, so after we let those two coats dry, as you can see, there's no white pieces or white sections anymore from the glue. It's mostly dry. It's not 100%. I'm not going to lie to you. It's better if you wait 100%. Like, you can see that back end right there. It's a little white. But uh, I was trying to move this along because um, I have a love-hate relationship with glitter. I want to clean up so bad. So here I'm mixing about a 3 to 1 ratio. So 1 fourth water, 3 fourth March Podge glue. And I pour in the rest of my glitter. 
and the glitter amount you put you don't want it too chunky because it'll dry chunky but it's just a nice opportunity to add more glitter uh, the consistency like right here it's a little too runny for my liking I ended up adding a little more glitter I want it to look like a melted Oreo milkshake you know what I mean So here I'm mixing, 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 mixing until it's all one consistent type of liquid. And I start just sealing it over the glitter. And this is uh, a better view of the consistency. So I start sealing in the glitter. Work in sections. Um, make sure before you use the sponge you squeeze out some of the liquid in the cup so that it's not dripping all over the bottle and just cover the whole bottle and I do this so that when it's 100% dry and you touch it your hand won't be covered in glitter and it lasts longer like if you want to put this in display in your main ca man cave or vanity or anywhere you know it'll last even if you end up drinking the wine you can keep the bottle so yeah you can do one coat to seal you can do two coats to seal if you feel like the one coat is not enough I do the one because it can easily, when too much Mod Podge is involved, it will dry a little milky. So it looks crazy here, but it'll dry clear. Trust the process, okay? So here I'm using like these peel and stick um, studs. And I'm just gonna make a little border around my custom label. I put it on, it doesn't stick that great. Later on, I will add E6000 glue, but I'm just putting it on so I could cut the right sizes for now. So this is the E6000 glue that I use. And this is a close up look. You can see every glitter. Oh, it's so pretty. It's nice and even. This is not 100% dry. I would say 80% dry. This was like maybe 30 minutes and I set it in front of my um, heater, which like blows air. It's a vented heating system. So that helped. So I wanted to zhuzh it up and I wanted to put this gold wrapped around, but wrapping around um, because the cylinder shape that I was wrapping it around, it was not, you know, if I had it, I did it at the top, it would have been smooth, but because it's going wider, getting wider at the bottom. It just was not looking the way I wanted it to. And I didn't want to peel it off because like I said, it's probably 80% dry and I could peel off some glitter and I would have to redo the whole process again and I did not save any glitter <laughs> um, mixture. So I'd have to remix and get yeah, all of that. But I continued because I'm like, it gives kind of like a champagne bottle vibe. You know, at the top of the champagne, it has that like wrinkled, gold foil yeah so it's giving me that look so I, I continued with it it wasn't bothering me I like it so I'm gonna put a bow because it is a birthday right
and I put E6000. E6000 is great. It just does not dry immediately. So this was low key like lifting and I felt like it was gonna slide off. So I took the 3M double-sided sticky mountain tape and boom, put it on like that. It didn't go nowhere. E6000 was still sticking on the perimeter because I cut the tape smaller than the piece of hair on. And here I'm putting more studs just to, I don't know. I don't know why I did it, but I like it. I think it just brings it all together. Yeah, you don't have to do exactly what I do. You could just stop at just the glitter. It's still very pretty. You don't have to do all this extra stuff, but I'm extra and I tend to have a lot of craft projects hanging around, so I go ahead and use things from leftover projects. See, I was going to use this happy birthday, and I held it up to the bottle to see where I wanted it. And then I changed my mind. I was like, this bottle is fine. And then the person I was making for, he's a simple individual, so it was I was already doing too much. <laughs> so I'm just taking just my podge, the high gloss finish, to seal in the custom label if you made one. And you see it kind of seeped and distorted the colors but that's all right so this is the finished product and I did let it dry overnight after making this video right here it looks the same this is I want to say 90% dry by here this time and it is so oh my gosh it is so pretty Here I am touching it. Two specks of glitter came out, and like I said, I had to dry it overnight. So if you made it this far, thank you for watching, and go ahead and subscribe. I'm telling you, I'm getting better, and you don't want to be sorry because you missed out, okay? <laughs>